basically a rewrite on how the player approaches the ball and what animation it selects to, to get a good contact, to get a nice looking shot, for example. Oh, Teamox just scored. <laughs> First goal in FIFA 19 <laughs> for him. Um, let's see. It's, uh... Let's go. <laughs> 19, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. In real life as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is, is it working right now? I cannot hear you. I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so then I was saying the Active Touch system is going to create a lot of new animation variety. You're going to see things that you didn't see in previous FIFAs in terms of how the players stretch, the type of volleys, the type of shots that you see. And also the game is going to be more responsive because of this, uh, because of this system. It also comes with other features like the flicks. I think you've seen it already where if you flick the right stick, then the player is going to flick the ball anytime. The ball can be coming at you and keep it in the air or just on the ground, flick it to beat an opponent or just to start a volley by yourself. So put the ball in the air. Uh, old Okocha flick, right? But just not as high. But Similar, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's something else though. If you press LT while doing the flick, you can bounce the ball on the ground, so it basically bounces over the player's head. Good. And it's also very good to, to, let's say, a fancy way to beat a slide tackle. So you just bounce the ball on the ground. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also the disguised ball control, which is a fake. When you're controlling the ball, the ball is coming at you, and then you're faking you're going to control it that way, but last second, last second you touch it this way. So it really confuses the defender. The defender goes there, thinks the ball's going to go there, but you exit the other direction. So it's uh, really cool. So altogether, this active touch system really changes how the game feels from the first minute of play. Yeah, I can confirm that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. And then the second thing is uh, the tactics. So it's a rewrite on how we do tactics in FIFA. Uh, and what it means is everything from the menus to all the options you're going to have in the game are new. What you see in real life, like teams playing possession or playing fast build-up, uh, long balls, you will see those tactics in the game. Same for defending. You will see like high pressure or just uh, drop back. Could be also possession, sorry, pressure after you lose possession or just a type of surprise type of pressure. Like if I know you're in trouble, I can go and put pressure now so you don't have passing options and then hopefully you lose the ball. Speaking of tactics, there are also quick options now to, to change your, your tactics by well, without going into the menu, but just with the D-pad, correct? That's exactly the, the, the next part that I was going to mention. So you can customize your mentalities in the game. You, you always have like five mentalities, and then you can say exactly what each mentality is going to do. Uh, so it's basically like creating game plans. You say, okay, when I'm losing, I want to do, I want to have this formation with these player instructions, with these tactics. But if I'm winning, I want to have this other set of tactics. So, and then you access that through the D-pad. So that basically gives you instant control of your tactics without having to use one of your passes to go to team management. So that's, I think that's going to be really, really important for players like these guys that are competitive game, gamers. So that means just more control, which is the idea behind FIFA 19. And then there's, there's more features. Uh, the next one I want to mention is the time finishing. So it's a tricky one at the beginning, at the beginning, but... Try to, to do oh, the, yeah. the heart. I know. <laughs> we know. So the more you played FIFA 18 and the more you did the low shot, uh, it's probably a little bit harder to get used to the new mechanic. But believe me, when, when you get used to when you learn it, it's much more uh, interesting. Another go by Cristiano Ronaldo this time. The equalizer by Mo. <laughs> yeah, so once you, once you learn this mechanic, it's really more rewarding because now it's up to you to have a really good shot. So how you perform this mechanic is you request your shot regularly and then when the player is actually about to contact the ball, you need to double tap.